Hello Madfest, I'm Stacey Delaney, UK Country Manager at Taboola and today I'm here to tell you that context is king and content is the cherry on the top. I know you've all heard that content is king, but at Taboola we believe that context is equally if not more important when it comes to the success of your advertising campaign. Now, I want you to think about your advertising campaign being like an ice cream sundae, like this here. So the context is the foundation, or in this case, the ice cream. And the context is what determines if someone will actually have the attention and the mindset to engage with your ad. The content is the cherry on the top. And the content, if the context is done well, uh, the, your ad or your content will be engaged with and you'll hopefully elicit the sort of response that you want for your brand. So how do you get context right in your next advertising campaign? Well, there are three scoops to this ice cream that I'm going to give you as advice. The first one is placement. And placement is probably the first thing that you think of when you think about context. So I'm going to talk a little bit about social media advertising as I'm sure that you all advertise on social media. So on social media, your ads could appear next to unfiltered, potentially unsavory content. They could appear next to contradictory content or Uncle Bob's photos from Ibiza. Now, 83% of consumers say that they distrust ads that appear on social media. And to really feel the pain of how you can potentially get context wrong, 85% of consumers said that they would boycott a brand that they trusted if they saw their ad appearing next to COVID-19 conspiracy. Now, if you're looking for a more premium context, the IAB says that advertising on premium publishers' sites, like well-known news sites, will deliver about 130% higher attention than advertising on social media sites. And in a study that Taboola ran in 2020, we found that 80% of consumers said that they trusted a brand that advertised on premium content more than they did if they advertised on social media. So this sort of placement can have a real huge bearing on whether someone will, will be active and ready to engage with your ad. The next scoop of the ice cream is targeting. So you're obviously with your brand advertising campaign, you're going to have an understanding of who you want to target with it. And often what an advertiser will do is they will fall down to demographic targeting. So they'll look at age and gender. And sometimes these things can be used as a proxy to determine what someone's interests might be. But often those interests can be based on a stereotype. Now, as third-party cookies begin to get phased out, advertisers are starting to question whether demographic targeting is the right approach. And many are turning to interest-based targeting or using readership data. So what readership data does, it looks at, at what people are reading online. And it says, if you're reading an article about X, you're probably interested in X. And so bringing in this kind of interest-based targeting into your campaign can help to get that context right. This leads me to the third scoop of the ice cream, which is data. Now, context is about so much more than just running an ad on an online page. Okay? It's about your customer, what they're going through at that moment in their life. Are they hungry? Did they run to the bus? Were they late this morning? Okay, all of these things are going to have an impact on whether they engage with your campaign or not. So how can you understand that? Well, what you need to do is you need to tap into customer data and insights. So one of the ways that we do it at Taboola is we look at readership data. So Taboola has lots and lots of readership data because its technology is hard-coded into 9,000 publisher sites across the web. So we can see what articles are trending and what people are reading around the world. So going on with the ice cream theme, I can tell you that in the last month, it, there was an increase in people reading articles about ice cream, okay? So if I was a supermarket brand, how I could use that insight is I could put ice cream in my advertising copy, I could target articles with my ads that, uh, that feature ice cream with showing people what, I can, what ice cream I have in my supermarket, and this uses a moment in time uh, relevant piece of insight to engage. So to summarize, context is king, and it can have a huge bearing on the success of your advertising campaign. There are three things that you should be looking at when it comes to context. The first is placement. Look for placements that are going to capture attention and that are going to be safe towards your brand. The second is targeting. 
consider adding interest-based or readership-based targeting into your next campaign. And finally, data. Try to find out what customer insight that you can, you can learn so that you can place the most relevant campaign to that audience base. Thank you very much for your attention. If you would like any help on picking the right contextual environment for your next campaign or any support, you can drop me an email or you can come and see us at the Taboola picnic booth over here. Thank you so much.